much to offer. Here's Alistair. Yes, he's a headline writer's dream. He's Andy Much, who signed from Wolves today for £250,000, taking John Gorman's spending to £1.5 million since he took over as manager in June. West Country fans will recognise Much as the underrated half of a prolific goal-scoring partnership at Wolves with Steve Bull. But it was Much's signature that Swindon boss John Gorman was after today. Indeed, his appearance in a Swindon shirt has a lot to do with the persuasive tongue of his new manager. Basically, I met the manager the night and he seemed to sell the club very well. Um, he seemed to be very enthusiastic about the season. Obviously, the Premier League football is going to be uh, very interesting. Um, and um, I like the style of football they play, really, so uh, hopefully I can fit into uh, the style of play they have. Much hopes that if he does make his debut against Liverpool on Sunday, goal scoring will be as easy as this. <laughs> Well, that signing perhaps taking some of the sting out of defeat last night. It was cruel luck on Swindon as Oldham took all the points with literally the last kick of the game. It leaves them without a point in the Premier League and John Gorman knows the side will have to toughen up to survive. We've got to get a little bit mean, more mean streak in us and um, hopefully we will do that. But we're learning quickly, but it, it'd be nice tonight to get a little, a little point to give us a little boost because I think a point was what we deserved. We actually deserved one Saturday. We, we had more chances to play more football Saturday, funny enough, than even tonight because all of them were down their throats um, from, from the start of the game. Andy Much comes from Wolverhampton Wanderers for a fee of £250,000. Two games and two defeats, but today manager John Gorman took his spending to one and a half million pounds. Big money for Swindon, but will it be enough to buy the quality he needs? It's the fourth signing I've made, and um, we've done it in quite quick time. And it just, we just feel that the more quality players that we can get, obviously, the better chance we've got um, in this league. The club claims poor luck has played a part in their two defeats in the Premier League. A 3-1 scoreline at Sheffield United here was followed by a single late goal decider last night against Oldham. Obviously, they've had a quiet start. I mean, everyone can see that, but they've got to have time to adjust. And um, I think um, they've got to batten down and work hard and hopefully they can get the results that they need to uh, prove uh, a decent side in the Premier League. And things don't get any easier. Swindon's next game is at home to Liverpool on Sunday.